how to perfect your prayers and end up in your purpose. When you are in a job, a living situation, or some place or situation that you hate, that you are frustrated about, that you can be real as a believer and say, I hate this. I do not like that. That doesn't fit me. I don't want to do this or I don't want to do that or I don't want to put up with this or that or I don't want to deal with this type of personality or this type of person. Or I want more of this or that. Use your frustration as a fuel to your prayer. It doesn't make your prayer any louder. It doesn't make your prayer any longer. But your frustration is a clue to what you were not meant to do. So God may call you to go to some job that you do not like. But you know that he called you to go there for now at least and for a season. And while you're in that place, isn't it just so funny how he'll give you a bad boss, bad coworkers, bad teammates, bad board members, etc. Or have you in an uncomfortable situation. This is all to help you to know what you love and what you don't. Being a believer does not mean I have to be excited about everything. But... You can't let everything shake your joy and faith in him and trust in him. So what he's taught me is, and it didn't take me very long to learn in other people's jobs and establishments, that certain things just were not for me. That, you know, certain personality types were not for me. I mean like not personality types, more like character issues. They were not for me. You know, some people are just now here's a side note and a sidebar. Some people are just discontent with anything and anyone and they just are a chronic complainer. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking to the people that want to get into the position that God has for them and you do have a certain God-given discontentment and God-given dissatisfaction for your current whatever it is that you're in right now listen God has taught me a way to get more into and and uh and more like positioned into the place or placed into what you really want to do at least you know that you will be getting closer and closer and closer as you are going through these different assignments because you are perfecting your prayers he said to make all kinds of requests He said, make your requests known to God and make all kinds of requests. You know, there are religions that think that they can't ask anything of God. They think that it's just straight greedy to ask anything of God. But I thank God for real that we are able to come boldly to the throne. And that doesn't mean we have to yell it at God. It doesn't mean that my prayer is a little louder or a little longer. If it was, it's all right. Because sometimes the fire of God is in you. And you just like get this unction. And you get this fire. And you just pray by the Spirit. And it comes out how it comes out. But what I want to say is listen, if you're not happy in a certain job, but you know the Lord has opened the doors for you, you know the Lord has let you be there, don't suffer through it. Do your job. Have a good attitude. Be respectful. Um, Try your best to deal with the personalities and the character flaws of those who are around about yourself. (laughs) But you take those frustrations And you go take that to the throne and you say, God, 
I don't want to work with envious competitive people. Or God, maybe I don't really want to do sales. You know, I want to do what my spiritual gifts are naturally flowing in and grace me to do. I want to walk in the grace that you have given me. I don't want to put my gifts aside. I don't want to not be able to use them on the job freely. I want to be able to use my gifts and be who you made me to be. I don't want to just put this suit on to match my coworkers, stick this badge on my chest that is not really saying all of who I am, Even though it does have my name on the badge. It's not, I'm repping a brand and I'm repping a company that I don't really believe in. Or I appreciate it. I appreciate the position. I appreciate the income from it. But I'm not wanting to be bought. I don't want to be bought. I don't want to bow to mammon. I want to be in my purpose. I don't like how so-and-so acts like this by me. I don't like this and that about the company. Look, God is not afraid of your complaints. I know that the children of Israel murmured and they whined and complained, but he's not, he's not afraid of you voicing the issues and the problems that you're in and God is so strategic and he is hilarious because he will lead you right into a place that you know is a blessing. But then when it feels like it's closing in or it feels like you're too big for that place or feels like you have more to do than all that you do in that place, then you need to take those frustrated feelings and those aha moments and that revelatory moment, uh, you know, the revelations of who you are and how you don't fit there. And you need to bring that to God. Because he will strategically bring you to the next job. Now the next job might help you to know another aspect of yourself that you did not discover yet. Or another thing about yourself that you feel you want to work in. But you want to do it in a little, in a different way. in In a better way for you. In a better way, but the job doesn't allow you to function in that way, totally. So what you need to do is take that prayer to God. Listen, you are going to perfect your prayers by using your frustrations of your here and now to get you to who and what and where and how you need to be. Just to be authentically you. To be authentically you and not be bought by anyone. When you're in your purpose and the pay comes along, that is such a blessing. There are there are jobs that he will send you through just to let you get an aha moment. And so, you know, don't call all your friends up and whine about the job and -and so-and-so. See, and you also have to pass the job test, especially if you're going to be a head and not tail and an entrepreneur and not beneath. What you have to do is pass the job test. See the flaws of management and learn from it. But don't try to one-up them. Don't need to take their position and don't tear them down. What you have to do is just do your work as unto the Lord. And then go home with your frustrations and give it to God. And don't dump it on your friends. Don't emotionally dump on your friends. Don't emotionally dump on your friends. This is what people need to learn to do. See, I'm like really independent by myself so i don't need a shoulder to cry on okay i don't need to the codependency and 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 i don't have an addiction to someone hearing me whine i don't have an addiction to it sometimes i'm gonna give some people the download but you know who i really go to i just go every morning and anytime i need to to god and and i learned 
He is not afraid of your words that state what you're really feeling and what you're really going through. He will show you a better job and then a better job and then a better job. And maybe you'll be ready for your life's work. See, even a job is a training field for your purpose. It gets us experience. It gets us face-to-face experience with people we may never otherwise meet besides our own circle, our own people, our own family, the, the certain mindsets we've been brought up around. There may be nicer or um, <laughs> people out there. Depending on your circle, there may be more humble people out there, depending on your circle. There may be, you know, just different cultures and different personality types. And the jobs prepare you for the world and whatever your calling is, whatever it is. Also, let me think what else I need to say. You know, so the Lord says to us, if you're faithful in another man's field basically then he can entrust you with the riches but if he can't trust you with someone else's product product line store business you know you know maybe you you know i did pick up other other things like i jumped out and i was like oh maybe i want to do mary Kay. then i was like no i don't want to do mary Kay. and then um and I jumped out and I did all these things, but I did, I did receive something from each endeavor that I went into. Did he lead me directly to everything? No, some things I kind of jumped out by faith and I thought, well, let me try to do it because I do like, you know, this product. Anyway, when I went to Mary Kay, what was so funny was they kept showing this butterfly and they didn't even know the Lord keeps showing me butterflies because the Lord was releasing me from a life of being under a curse of like stagnancy and it wasn't that I wasn't trying it's just that everything that I was trying would always die and fail I did everything the Lord told me to do every project every design every every intricate design of a jewelry you know piece um I did everything he told me to do when you do everything God tells you to do and you still see no movement check who's around you you probably you might have witches around you which <clears throat> they don't always have to be bad people but look here listen well when they envy you that's not good if anybody ever envies you that's as witchcraft so you have to get rid of any copycat any envious person any very insecure person to the point of they would try to sabotage or destroy you so when the lord shows you those people sniper their ass out because you have to get somewhere so you know sometimes we're stuck in a rut because we have the wrong people connected to us that are posing as helpers but they're not they really they could be helpers he could have sent you to them but then they turn so anyway talking about getting into your destiny you have to eliminate the distractions around you you have to eliminate the witches in your life that are coming against you the confusion that's coming against you the drama is confusion the drama is as witchcraft which is as confusion which is coming against you you have to pass your job tests However many jobs, I mean, if you could be, you could be on the same job for 30 years, but it's still not your purpose. Why are you there? You have to, don't jump out and get homeless because now you can't pay your bills. So what you have to do is perfect your prayers. Bring those frustrations to God. Now, when you bring your frustrations to God, it's not just straight whining. You got to listen to what he may be telling you because he may give you the answer to start something on the side or some other venture on the side that's going to grow you and get you ready as you think you're getting something else ready he's getting you ready to walk you further into your destiny and ultimate of your calling and 
your happiest or your happiest point. <laughs> Does that make sense? To make, give you more uh, like a full joy and full make your joy overflowing. It's, so God's trying to give you the pieces to your puzzle. But you have to not just feel like you're stuck in this rut or in this place that you don't really want to be. What are you going to do with that frustration? So you have to perfect your prayers by your frustrations. Okay. And then um, eventually you should end up in a position and in the field that you want or create. Or maybe you're creating the field in the doorway in the job that you want for yourself. Now, maybe you have to multi-manage, like work a job for someone else while you build what you really want. But this is what the Lord is showing. There is a way out. You don't have to sell yourself for a dollar. You don't have to be a wage slave all your life. These are places that are a privilege to be in but you're supposed to get your lessons there if there is a gift that is in you that you need to use what's going to happen is if you're in a job where you can't use it and you get a discontentment enough about it it should cause you it's meant to cause you to cry out to God to say there has to be something better I mean, when you see your customers and you are like, I want to pray for them, but I'm not allowed to pray in this job. Well, that, you know, well, then that is not the best place for you. But you can do that job. You know, God's trying to get his people in different positions. And sometimes he just wants them to build something on their own. It doesn't mean you need brick and mortar doesn't mean you meet you need a big store or uh, a big work crew to work with you i don't know what it looks like for you but use every job every relationship to perfect your prayers god's going to bring you to the better mate that fits your life god's going to bring you to the better job or better position to that fits your life but you have to not waste those frustrations <laughs> those things those times that in the job that show you that it's not really for you in this aspect or that you have to bring that to him he's always been waiting for you to ask from the earth you know as you stand on the earth those desires that are in your heart it's also in order for him to break through what's been hindering you and even demonic spirits and things on your region and just hindering spirits that are in the way of you getting to your ultimate of what you're supposed to be, do, have. And so he wants you to ask because if you ask him anything and you obey him for however he leads you in your life and lifestyle you have to know that he will answer you you know you were not made to be a wage slave forever <laughs> a job is a blessing to be of service in any way is a blessing but you need to get to whatever he has designed for you to be and that is where you'll be happy you know sometimes he won't give us some other things that we want or need in our life until we are working toward getting into our calling so as you get into that, other things will come to your life, like the culmination of all things. It's like the finale. It's like all of these things are coming together and finally working out. So anyway, that's what I have to say. My name is Anna Clark. You can find me on Facebook, www.facebook.com slash Apostle Anna Clark. 
I'm a seer prophet. I'm just a regular old person. But um, if you friend request me and then inbox me, if you need to, you know, prayer requests, then um, I will try my best to get back with you ASAP. Thank you so much.